If you did know, fleas and ticks will make your dog sick. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Everyday Inc. Welcome back to Only Ace Bully Camp. If you new here, make sure you go ahead and tap on the subscribe button. And don't forget when you subscribe over here, you're not just a subscriber. No. You part of the family now. With that being said, if you're not a part of the squad, join squad now. Also guys, make sure you go ahead and smack, smack, Smack that notification bell that way you know it was about to drop some new heat because I do drop heat on a regular basis guys today we talking about how to keep the fleas and the ticks away this summer guys you want to make sure you keep the fleas and the ticks away from your dogs you want to make sure you keep your dogs as healthy as possible if you did know fleas and ticks will make your dog sick they will also make your dog's coat look horrible guys and make your dogs itch terribly and catch bad rashes all of that stuff guys so we're gonna talk about a few signs you want to watch out for and ways you can prevent you feel me the fleas and the ticks from even getting on your dog in the first place and also ways that you can get the fleas and ticks off of your dogs guys now since we outside the first thing we want to talk about is keeping your grass cut low guys you want to keep your grass cut low especially those of you with outside dogs those of you with house dogs as well you want to keep your grass cut low because the higher the grass is the easier it is for the fleas and ticks to get on your dog guys so you want to keep a low cut period also something i know a lot of you guys don't do or probably haven't done before you want to treat your yard for fleas and ticks guys you want to make sure your yard is safe for the dog in general guys so you can treat your uh grass by um getting like flea and tick spray generally um you can hook on something to a water hose and treat the whole yard guys and spray it across the entire yard and it'll treat the yard for fleas and ticks so that's something that would definitely help out guys something that's definitely gonna cut them down um being in your yard in the first place a lot of this stuff you can get from pet smart i don't got a certain brand that i'm going to recommend to y'all as of now but there, there are plenty of things that you can get to hook onto a water hose to spray across the yard guys just go to your local pet shop and uh find what you feel is going to be best for your yard for fleas and ticks to hook on and treat your yard guys to hook onto a water hose and treat your yard so that's number one you want to make sure your yard is treated also guys you want to make sure your dog is safe guys you want to make sure that you put medication on your dog's coat medication on your dog's neckline to make sure the fleas and ticks stay away as well a lot of times you can get like a cheaper uh medication from walmart guys like five six bucks you can find the stuff that you put down the back of their neck, uh, on the end of their tail. Once again, I won't tell y'all exactly what to get, but you can kind of get an idea, you know what I mean, when you go to the flea and tick section or the dog section in your Walmart, you will see it, guys. Uh, so medication to put on their necks, on the back of their neck, at the end of their tails, guys. Also, another way you can do it is a flea and tick collar. They don't look the best, but they get the job done, y'all. So you want to have a flea and tick collar on your dog um, to help beat the fleas and ticks, y'all. That's a, a good way to help knock them out, y'all. Also, you can get your dog dipped. I know a lot of pet smarts do this. A lot of pet shops do this. And what they do is... They submerge your dog under a flea and tick medicine and I think it lasts for basically the summer. It lasts the entire summer uh, but you still want to take the other precautions as well. Flea and tick collar, medicated, you know, neck medicine and uh, at the end of the tail medicine, you know, just stuff to spray on them period to keep the fleas and ticks off y'all but you can get your dog dipped it's very beneficial to get your dog dipped it really helps also flea and tick spray y'all it's something you can spray the entire coat with and uh not just medication that you put down the back of their neck but you can spray the entire coat with flea and tick spray y'all um so that's something you want to invest in that's something you want to make sure you look out for in the pet shops and get that done so uh another thing guys you want to just keep out 
of us signs that your dog may be scratching their lower belly or a patchy looking coat or maybe like small um lumps in the coat you can see like small bumps under their coat sometimes they get fleas where they've been scratching at their stomach so you want to keep an eye out for that your dog may have fleas and ticks and you might not know it guys you want to um check your dog for teasing fleas and ticks frequently guys so you can be up to date also another way um to beat the fleas and ticks this summer would be for you to bathe your dog regularly guys um fleas and ticks are not a fan of water and if you bathe your dog you can generally see if they have fleas and ticks guys because um once you spray them and get them wet you pretty much gonna be able to see a lot under their coat y'all you'll be able to see their scalp or whatever you may call it but uh, you'll be able to see a lot better under their fur, guys. So you want to make sure you keep your dog bathed at least, you know what I'm saying, once a week, uh, once every two weeks, whatever you can do. Maybe sometimes uh, three times every two weeks, guys. You want to make sure that you can have a regular basis, you feel me, a regular schedule for them to bathe, for them to stay clean, guys. That's going to help with them fleas and ticks, y'all. And uh, if you guys do have fleas and ticks on your dogs, what you want to do is to get rid of them, you definitely want to start off with a good bath, guys. And, of course, take those precautions to get them dipped to get the fleas and ticks off of them, y'all. Um, another thing you can do is take them to the vet. If it's bad and you got a real, real bad situation, man, take them to the vet sometimes things get out of our hands sometimes things get out of control and we don't know what to do to handle a big situation so if your dog is completely covered yeah you might want to go see a vet you know you know what i mean uh i've actually dealt with a flea infestation in my house from an outside dog i had at one point in time so the last thing you want to do is let fleas in your house because once they in there they are in there for a minute you definitely gonna have to bomb your house and um do a whole lot of stuff to get them out of there y'all but it's not a pleasant journey fleas and ticks will get on you they will be on your skin guys it is not something that you want so keep them off of your dog in order to keep them off of you and your family as well uh so i just really wanted to tap in with y'all today you know what i'm saying to give y'all a few tips and tricks that y'all can do to, to beat the fleas and ticks this summer you know what i mean to keep your dog healthy to keep you and your family healthy to make sure y'all good to go so uh take these precautions y'all uh go get your dog dip treat your yard get your dog a flea and tick collar get them the medicated um the medicated ointment that they can put down the back of their neck and uh flea and tick spray you can also flay spray flea and tick spray around your home do whatever it takes y'all to beat the fleas and ticks this summer man thank y'all so much for tuning in if you like this video don't forget to give your boy a big thumbs up man i appreciate the love sending y'all sending y'all love peace joy prosperity everything y'all from this side of the camera to y'all side of the camera y'all stay blessed y'all stay safe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video i'm going eight i'm going eight i'm going eight on the x bully count on the ace bully count. On the ace bully count. On the ace bully count. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. Yeah, I'm going eight.